So I think that uh, this is a great opportunity to uh, demonstrate the innovation that we as a company need to do a, a better job at, and that is taking advantage of very constrained resources and leveraging mature technologies to solve problems in a new way. Well, the Bay is basically my backyard, and I think everyone wants to protect the environment where they live. Everyone wants to protect the environment where uh, the ocean where their friends and family swim. So we initially selected five teams for the challenge. Some of the teams actually have a complete system approach where they have a platform, uh, whether it's a submersible or a surface vessel, um, that has sensors embedded on board to collect data on oysters, such as photographs, sonar, or maybe infrared data. Uh, other teams are focusing more on a specific aspect of that sensing technology, so um, improving the capabilities of an existing sonar system via uh, machine learning or adapting a LiDAR technology. Uh, so we're trying to mitigate some of the risks of, of the difficulty of this challenge by dispersing um, the skills and know-how of some of the team members to apply them to either a complete system approach or really focus um, on some of the higher risk sensing uh, technologies that we need to be successful. So we have over 12,000 employees in Maryland, and so the, the Bay is our backyard, and uh, we've had a long-standing uh, partnership with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, uh, for one. I think uh, as, a, as a company, we have a focus on, on the long term, and sustainability is a big part of that. And so this, this uh, challenge, I think, is just another element of our broader uh, sustainability approach. Uh, where we're looking at developing innovative solutions for uh, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation to help them with their oyster restoration work.